Well, we're a couple of days away from October, which means Oktoberfest is coming soon to many major events uh, around around Dubai. And joining us in studio is Barasti's operations manager here to talk about uh, what's happening at Barasti with Oktoberfest, but also uh, what is it like running such a huge, uh, a huge legacy venue like Barasti. Garu Sharma, thank you very much for joining us here in studio. The pleasure is all mine, guys. Thank it's you for having me here. Great to have you here. We're, we're talking to you about um, Oktoberfest. But for someone who's never been to Germany or, or is not used to it, what can you expect at, at an Oktoberfest festival? So if somebody who has never been to Germany to for Oktoberfest, I think it's a lot of fun here. You should expect that. We got an Umpa original German band will be playing there. We got a lot of German Stein and German food you can expect there. And you know, Barasi, you have already mentioned as a, as a legacy venue. We have everything for everyone. Apart from Oktoberfest, we have Rugby World Cup also going on. So if you're a fan of sports and then you enjoy a lot of fun, Barasi is the place to be now. No, this is incredible, you know. Uh, this is uh, something that anyone who's ever come to Dubai, uh, the first spot that is recommended is Barasti. And and for all right reasons, you know. But when there is such a big legacy factor that comes in and when you're delivering, a, you know, a festival which is globally so popular, uh, does the pressure seep in and say, oh, you know what, we have to up our standards and up our game always? Absolutely. That is always a challenge and that is always where we want to make Barasti alive in terms of social media, in terms of what's happening in Barasti. I think probably if you talk about two years back, the Barasti was the only option where people could have gone for a sports and for a beach club. Yeah. In the last one year, there are like 30 new beach clubs which popped up. So as a brand, as a beach club, we have to be coming with new promotions, different ideas, a different new DJs coming to Barasti. We have just gone live with our new... Uh, uh, the beach DJs who will be coming and performing till the entire of the year like Craig David and Rudy Mental will be performing in Barasti for October 1st specifically we got a German Umpa band which is a very traditional band they will be playing every day in the evening on Barasti we have our own resident band who will be performing we have DJs performing in the tent area which is the only and the biggest AC tent in, in Dubai uh, so you can you can come here in Barasti and definitely just leave it on us and you will enjoy it. When you're the operations manager of somewhere like Barasti and you've got so many restaurants, so many outlets, so many bars, um, what, what what is a Friday night like for you? Or if you ever have a night off, are you just a nervous wreck looking at your phone, thinking something's <laughs> going to go wrong <laughs> and the phone's going to go oh, off? Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. I, that is something secret I don't want to... Say it, but you know, sometime you will get, you wake up in the morning, you suddenly check your phone and then you have thousands of messages which is popping up and you know <laughs> it's all, all in your follow-up. Our uh, Friday night starts for me specifically like from 11 a.m. or 12 o'clock and then it goes on till 3 a.m. because it's one of the busiest and that is the time when you make money. You don't want to miss out on any of the action. Plus, I can't do it alone. Um, I have a good team of 90 people who are supporting me. They are always there on the floor pushing it out, giving their 100%. Uh, that is how we have been managing whether it's Friday or it's a Saturday uh, for Barasti it's never like a weekend every day for us is a weekend <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> talk to me about your specific journey coming from Delhi how, yeah. how did you end up here as the operations manager of one of the biggest oh. venues in the Middle East it's actually a funny story I never planned to come to Dubai it was always like for everyone I planned it like for one year and it's been seven years I've been in Barasti uh, I was working in Delhi Mumbai Hyderabad from Mumbai I got an opportunity to come here I worked at a place before Barasti for a good five years and then been Barasti for a good one year. Um, so managing beach clubs from last six, seven years, that is how I got an opportunity to handle Barasti now. Well, this is this is an incredible story here. But now that you know you are at Barasti and you know the expectations that you have to live up to, uh, Oktoberfest, what is it that one can expect? Like you mentioned that someone who's never been to an Oktoberfest, yeah. some, someone who's never been to Munich, what can I expect? What you can expect is the copy of the original Munich Oktoberfest happening in Barasti. We have staff who's wearing the same leather hosen dresses, which is very traditional uniform, which they wear there. We have the same benches which they use in Munich. Oh, the big Similar wooden style, benches, yeah? Big wooden benches all throughout the area. As I mentioned earlier, we have the Umpa band, which is very traditional for Oktoberfest. We have Obadza in Prezel, somebody who mills, miss the German food. We have Krafen, we have Apfelstrudel. Apfelstrudel? Yes. <laughs> somebody who has a sweet tooth, definitely you should be here. We got Wiener Schnitzel. 
uh, which is very traditional German food. You can expect all of this. Yeah, and, and how hard is this as a vegetarian yourself? You've got to, you've got to work on this great uh, menu. Yes, yes, yes. For my, for me, my chef actually makes a very nice margarita pizza, which is um, in a wo wooden oven, which we make it, and then we have quite a few other options and salads and healthy eating so I stick to those uh, vegetarian options perfect I'm, when, I'm, when I'm coming in I'll be calling you so that your chef can Absolutely. replicate what he's making for Absolutely. you Absolutely, don't worry <laughs> about that <laughs> um, um, Brasti is kicking off with their October Oktoberfest uh, festivities uh, tomorrow why, why is Oktoberfest starting in September when oh. it's October yeah everyone is, is like this but Oktoberfest is always starts in a September and, and ends in October like last year started on 16 this year also is 16 and ending on 3rd of uh, October so we are sticking to the original dates is like related to a season where people come all together and they celebrate it Oktoberfest is just the name of the festive where they come all together and then celebrate it we're fortunate enough on our show to speak to a, a lot of people in venues and, and people tend to be specific to one genre one certain cuisine one mm. you know um, uh, demographic but when you're at Barasti, you, you're catering for it all. And, and that is, it's the rugby, and then it's the cricket, and then it's Oktoberfest, and then you've got DJs by the beach, and it's brunches, and, and, and it's everything. Uh, your marketing team, you mentioned there's a 90-member there's a staff. How far out are you planning these events? And, and what takes to, to what does it take to, to put up one of these, these Oktoberfest events? So it takes a lot of effort from, from deciding a DJ to build up a concept, and then you decide what you're going to put out for all uh, of our guests. As you mentioned that any tourist comes, Baras is the first choice. I think that is where we have established ourselves as the leader in the market where people want to come to us because we cater to everyone and not to one race or one ethnicity. We are a place for everyone. If you come as an Asian, you will enjoy. We have a lot of Asian people coming at a beach and enjoying the sports area. We have a majority of the Brits who's coming and enjoying right now with Rugby World Cup. We have like all the nationalities who's coming and supporting the team, the cricket. When we last time India Pakistan, we showed it. I think we got around th 300 people for India Pakistan match. Wow! And you know how heated it becomes. Oh, well, yeah, uh, I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, how how much time does it take to start to, for for the lead on on any of these activities or events that you start preparing? Is it like a three month lead on to the to the to the event or more? So if it's a big event like for New Year's, we started planning like a uh, couple of months back yeah. for a event like a new year where you want to cater a big number of people from 3,000 to 5,000 people I think it's better to start six months in advance for a small one-time pop-up event I think a good 15-20 days depending how well you can do the marketing of that thing it depends on that so in, in just in terms of those major events what have you got coming up the DJs Craig David what are some of the, the big ones at Barasti so we have Craig David lined up we have rudimental lined up for 30th of September we have KTB and Sigma who is going to performing then we have in December we have Ibiza Orchestra who is going to perform mm -hmm. so all these lines up we have already come out rest is still in plan well, congratulations on your success uh, coming all the way from Delhi here to be well still at the top of your game running Varasti for what, seven years you were saying now oh sorry seven years in Dubai oh, seven and years then, in Dubai yeah, and then all of one year in Barasti. Oh, I wondered why you look so young. I thought you've only done one year. <laughs> <laughs> one year instead of seven at Barasti. Uh, Gaurav Sharma, the Barasti operations manager. Uh, thank you for coming in. And it's Oktoberfest starting tomorrow night at Barasti. Yes. TSB, Talk Sport Business on Talk 100.3.